Today we have a story on the sonic wall blockage on computers and it's life drawing night tonight. I'm Emma and I'm Jake and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Jake, have you been blocked on websites when using your computer? Yeah, I can't watch YouTube videos that my teacher has assigned. Many students have been complaining about being blocked on their computers. Here's what we found out. Your browser's ability to access any website while at school is limited to maintain student focus. This is because of the student Sonic Wall software. Okay, the Sonic Wall is our internet filter for the entire district plus our edge router. Um, we've had it for about 10 years now, so we've always used Sonic Wall since I've been here. The Sonic Wall helps restrict students in class by um, limiting what they have access to view, whether that is um, videos or games or websites. Websites like Netflix and Facebook have always been blocked from your browser at school, but lately you may have noticed that sites like these have become more difficult to access even while at home. Well, we have released a new uh, software locally on your computers that is an at-home filtering client. It is a piece of the Sonic Wall, um, so it's not anything new, it's just locally on your computer and it's filtering you anywhere you go rather than just when you're here at school. The hope is, is that you don't see much of a difference at home versus when you're at school. Uh, being new, we've tested it to the best of our ability. Um, we still need to tweak it. There's some things that are blocked at home that probably shouldn't be, uh, and it's kind of one of those ongoing things. We, we adjust it on the fly as we hear things that aren't working. So, A few teachers have also struggled with accessing certain websites. Uh, I haven't personally experienced it, but talking with other teachers in the building, um, I guess the motive or the motivation is to try to get students to not go on websites that they're not supposed to be on, um, but that it's working and sort of Mm, kind of a wishy-washy fashion, like one student might be affected on one website um, where another student can get through and vice versa. Um, I wanted to have my students watch a video on their own about diabetes and that video was blocked. Um, however, it was only blocked for some students and not for others, so it was kind of some confusion. Um, as a teacher, I'd like to know kind of what was blocked and what the procedure is for getting things unblocked. Just like kind of started hearing about Sonic Wall randomly all of a sudden about two weeks ago um, and didn't really know what was going on so it would have been nice to have a heads up. The updates to your system are expected to occur by November 12th and your at-home access will become less limited. I'm glad that they're fixing it soon. Me too. Now on to your announcements. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office is looking to hire dispatchers. If you are interested in learning more about this job opportunity, please see Ms. Noble. Seaman Art Club's monthly life drawing night is tonight in room 901 from 6 to 7.30 p.m. at Seaman High School. Let's go over to Emory to see what it's all about. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. LaDuke and he's going to talk to us about life drawing night tonight. So what is it? So life drawing is uh, something that our art club does once a month. It's the first Tuesday of every month from 6 to 7.30 and it's just an evening where we get together like-minded artists to draw the human figure and uh, it's open to anybody in the community. It's a great opportunity for people to build their portfolio and uh, continue to work on their uh, their drawing abilities. Uh, why should people come? Uh, I think it's a good opportunity for uh, people to meet others who like to do what they like to do and you know drawing is one of those things where the more you practice the better you get at it and you know working from direct observation is one of the best ways to to draw better so all of those things all right thank you thank you mr leduc now back to your anchors make sure to attend if you're interested in drawing mr alexander has been nominated as life changer of the year you can leave a comment on his page to show the selection committee how deserving is of this award viking brew shirts orders are in swing by miss schaefer's room to grab yours also there's a few leftover shirts that we are selling at the viking brew in the morning tomorrow seniors will be be released to the North Gym at 10.40 a.m. for the Senior Panoramic. There will be a meeting about the dangers of vaping led by a prevention committee within the district. It will be from 6 to 8 next Tuesday, and all parents and students are invited. SVTV needs your help. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and help us reach 1,000 subscribers so we can gain access to live streaming. There will be an Interact Club meeting on Thursday at 7.30 a.m. in the library. Now over to sports after this quick commercial break.
Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. The Beverly Hillbilly. Come see the Beverly Hillbillies on November 16th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Five dollars at the door. Better get a front row seat. I gotta think of a project for my entrepreneurship class. I know. We'll sell products and we'll call it Market Day. Feeling hungry for a nuggy? Check out Broke Boys. If ice cream is what you need, CJ's does that. Brownies and ice cream. Hometown sweet specialty. Ice cream and cinnamon. An absolute classic. Brought to you by JP12. Scoops Ahoy is selling ice cream sandwiches and hot choco latte. You hate dentist? Your boy's candy shop is going to cause a cavity. Market day is November 5th and 6th during your cow period. Make sure to bring money. And when we sell these products, we'll make it rain money. There will be an informational meeting during activity period this Thursday at 1.15 for students trying out for basketball. Boys interested will meet with Coach Cox in the West Commons, and any girls interested will meet with Coach Tinsley in the Freshman Commons. This is the last week for winter sports conditioning. Remaining conditioning times are Wednesday and Thursday after school until 4.30. See Coach Cox or Coach Tinsley with any questions. Now over to Weather with Josh. All right, good afternoon. After that 49-hour weekend, we are now in Central Standard Time, and that means the weather data comes in one hour sooner to the SVTV Weather Center. What that means for you guys is that we should see a boost in the accuracy of our forecast. So look for that over the next few months. For the rest of today, here's what we're looking at. Highs in the, in the mid to maybe upper 50s, mainly sunny skies, but you will notice our sunset close to five o'clock, so we do start to drop off fairly quickly, already down to 46 by seven o'clock this evening. And for the Turtle Comfort Index, they're gonna be loving this weather over the next couple of days. Highs in the 50s and 60s, that is just about perfect. So nine out of 10 for the turtles through Wednesday, but then get ready, humans and turtles beware. Wednesday, our high is 61, but Thursday, a strong cold front knocks our high temperatures down into the upper 30s, so you might be going burr by the end of this week. Then we are tracking a rain chance as well. This comes in late Wednesday with the passage of that cold front. There is a slight chance this changes over or at least mixes with a few snowflakes, not expecting any accumulation out of this, and really, it's less than a 50% chance. But there it is, the slight chance of rain or snow Wednesday night. Otherwise, the big story is the temperatures. Highs on Thursday in the upper 30s, Friday in the mid 40s. But notice, we rebound for the first half of the weekend up into the 60s, and then a second stronger blast of colder air arrives to start next week. Jake and Emma, back to you. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for a story about the Air Force Band. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Thank <music> you.